Mercury! You know why I never went to college? Uh, I don't know. Because I already have a million degrees! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good one. Oh, I see. You want to hang out with them? Well, you've got me! Nobody else is as close to me as you are! Well, an average of 35 million miles is not my definition of close, but sure, I'm the closest planet to you. Well, I don't mean that! I mean, I mean we're friends! Best friends! Or maybe... Maybe I'm wrong. Hey, no, we are friends. Sure. I, I mean, you're pretty cool. Actually, I'm pretty hot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another sun pun. Oh, oh, wait. You, you're gonna sneeze? Kinda. It's, it's, it's corona. Wait, wait, isn't that an earthling disease? No, coronal mass ejection. Oh, wait, are you having a solar flare? <laughs> Oh, my insides are... Oh! Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna explode! I'm sorry, dear friend, but that sounds too dangerous to me! You explode thousands of times every single second right next to me, and you won't... Ah! Wait a second. I know what this is. Uh, calm down, guys. He's not exploding. Dude, how do you know? Because I've been there. Relax, Mercury. You're just going through tectonic activity. Tectonic what now? It just means that your core is active and your surface is shifting and crashing. I actually thought I was the only one around here who did that. So, am I really okay? Yeah, no worries, man. It just hurts a little sometimes. If the Earthlings can survive living through all those earthquakes and floods, it can't be that bad, right? Oh, wow, that's a relief. Although, side effects may include a contracting crust, so you may become even smaller. Maybe you'll be Pluto 2.0. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny, Earth. Earth? Earth? Hey, uh, Earth? Yep. Uh, it's, it's cool that now we're friends and all. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so, uh, Mars sucks, <laughs> right? Yes, totally. Ugh, don't get me started. He always has to be right about everything. Who does he think he is? Jupiter? Yeah, <laughs> good one. Yes, everyone sucks except us. You know what I think? <laughs> I think they are all jealous because you get to be the best friend with the only planet that has life. Huh. Huh, what? You don't remember much, do you? About what? Well, I used to have, let's say, conditions for life to flourish. What are you on about? Well, around 700 million years ago, I... I had good weather, habitable conditions, and, you know, surface water. Surface water? Yeah. We used to be quite similar, but, you know, things happened. But hey, I'm I'm all the better for it, right? <laughs> Who wants those annoying Earthlings or, or Venuslings? <laughs> 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 oh, good one, Venus. <laughs> oh, good one. W what? You? Life? Water? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please! <laughs> oh, man! Hey, I'm not... <laughs> oh, you're not what, friend? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just... <laughs> kidding. Friend. <laughs> oh, I knew it. Oh, dude. Venuslings. Hey, Mars, you got a bad hand going there, old buddy? Shut up. Whoa, okay. Did you hear that, Moon? Yes, he told you to shut up. Hey, why is everyone being rude to me today? We're being rude? Earth, you just insulted Saturn's moons, and all moons for that matter. What did I say? That moon should know their place. I... Uh, yes, that may have come out wrong, but what I meant is that you think you're better than the moons. In fact, you think you're better than the rest of us, don't you? Well, I have life, don't I? Seriously, Here we go. Dude, as you're arrogant unbelievable. as always, you're becoming just as unlikable as Venus. That's so hard? Guys, I... <laughs> I can't help being special. Earth, having life doesn't make you special. Oh, please, elaborate. If you multiply the rate of star formations with a fraction of stars that may have planets, and then multiply that with the number of planets that could sustain life, and then that with the average lifetime of a planet, we get, uh, Jupiter? At minimum, 1.4 billion planets potentially like you in our galaxy, Earth. But I... 
I worked so hard. I put up with so much to be a, a, a good home for my Earthlings. But I'm not special? The universe is big. There's at least two of everything. Sorry. You know what could really make you special? If you stop being so arrogant and apologize to Titan. And if I don't, then you can play solitaire, dude. Oh, I... I get it now. Ugh. Have you seen Earth? I haven't had Earthling trash shot at me in a while. How would I know? What, you're literally his neighbor. What? So are you. Well, I... Oh, shh, hey, look over there. What the? Has he completely lost it now? Last time I saw him, he went all anxious over the sun going red giant. Uh, maybe we should leave him alone. Could be a healthy coping mechanism. Hey, Earth! You completely lost it now! Shh! I'm trying to save us all! Could you shut up just once? Relax. What's going on here, Earth? Okay, okay. Look, I'm collecting space dust, hydrogen, and other gases. I'm trying to make another sun so we can spin around that one instead. One that maybe isn't as aggressive and... Earth! I feel like I don't tell you enough how stupid you are! Yeah, yeah, I know. All my ideas are bad and... No, Earth... This is a really bad idea. Do you know anything about how a star is born? The sun formed out of the same dust as us through intense gravity. If you repeated that, there'd be a whole system full of new planets and orbits, and we'd all get destroyed. Sorry, Earth. He's right. Oh, what? So we really do have to stick with our sun? Yeah. It's not like one of us is a supermassive planet made of the kind of stuff the sun is made of with a strong gravitational pull around here. Hey guys, what are you up to? Hey there, little guy. You came from Earth, right? Oh god, okay. Uh, keep yourself together. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm from Earth. Cool, me too. Though, he really makes me feel like I don't matter sometimes. Maybe he doesn't know how important you are? You know what? I, I think you're right. I, I should go and orbit another planet to show him. Hey, thanks, Earthling. You hear that, Earth? I'm leaving! Wait, did I just end the world? Hey, Earth's moon. Hey, Mars. Can I orbit you for now? Huh, well, if Earth doesn't mind. Trust me, he doesn't. All right, then. Go over there where Phobos and Deimos are orbiting. Aren't you asteroids? No, we're moons! I'm Phobos! And I'm Deimos! Can you help us be like you? Uh, sure. How? Maybe you can crash into Mars! And we can use the space debris to grow bigger! Yes! Bigger! <laughs> Okay, the moons of Mars are freaking weird. Oh. Moon! Where the heck were you? I'm off my axis and my tides are all out of whack. Get back in orbit now. I guess he learned his lesson. Huh? Huh? Hey, want to crash against him? Shh. Go away. You can't make me go away. I'm always here. I'm the dark side of the moon. What? That's just nonsense. That's just the facts, bruh. You think there's one side of me that's always cloaked in shadow? It, that is simply not true. Yes, it is. How? Because we're tidally locked. You don't even know what that word means. It means we're always facing only one side. One side of what? Uh... The Earth? Exactly! If we were tidally locked with the Sun, who is the source of light in the solar system, then sure, we'd have a dark side, but we're tidally locked with the Earth, which orbits the Sun and we spin around it. So this whole dark side of the moon thing is just complete and utter nonsense made up by ignorant Earthlings. Then why do they call me that? What am I? Ugh, you're the side of me that never gets to watch the Earth. You're always looking away, gazing into the darkness of space. Aha! Uh -huh. So in a way, I am the dark side of the moon. You know what? Sure. Ouch! 
Gotcha! What's up with your Earthling's obsession with making me their second home? Uh, can we not talk about it? Dude, you never want to talk about this. Alright, man. You really want to know? My Earthlings want to colonize you. What's that supposed to mean? Some of them think Mars could be their future. I mean, we're kind of similar. Gravity, water in some form, an atmosphere. Even if they can't breathe your air. Huh. Well, I guess I get that. They can be a bit annoying, but if I really am the best option they have... Pfft. If you were their best option, Astro Dude over here wouldn't need a closed-off environment to be on your surface. Your temperature is deadly, your air is poison, and you're not hospitable to plants or animals. They've been talking about terraforming you, but yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I don't get it. Why don't they stay on you then? <sighs> Guess dreaming about you is easier than dealing with what they're doing to me. Uh, jeez, man. I'm sorry. I just got deep. Um, you wanna keep playing cards? I don't know, you guys. I mean, he's always been like this. Why should that change? But you said it yourself. Jupiter is super huge, made of basically the same stuff as the sun, and has strong gravity. He could become a star. Yeah, but he's always been like this. Why should that change? He's bigger than some actual stars in this galaxy. And the sun came out of gravity and dense dust too. So what do you say we do then, huh? If he starts transforming, then we gotta deal with him. Venus! He's a planet! Look, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, but we gotta do what we gotta do! Guys? Um, maybe quiet down? Well, I've never destroyed a planet before. I didn't know you were an expert. Look, I know you're afraid, but... Seems like you don't know, because then you'd understand that we have to... You have to what? Oh, Jupiter! We were just, um, uh... Yeah, I got the gist. Listen, guys, I literally can't become a second son. Yeah, I'm made of the same stuff, but that's because we all are. We're all made of leftovers from when the sun came about. Yeah, but... No buts! I may be more like the sun than you, but it was born from special circumstances, when a molecular cloud collapsed in on itself. That can't happen to us anymore. Unless you see any of those around here. I'm sorry, man. We were just worried that you'd one day destroy all of us. I guess we can go back to just worrying about the sun, huh? Do you know where Neptune is? Uh, why? Ever since he came back, his blue has been radiant. I simply have to know his atmosphere count routine. That's a compelling motivation. Well, Neptune was here a while ago, but then he just awkwardly left. He also seemed off, like weird, you know? I think he lost his mind. Hmm. Any idea where he might have gone? Somewhere between me and Pluto. Who's also missing? Hmm. What do you say we look for them together? A little adventure, just you and me. Um, my orbit takes like 84 years to spin around the sun, so I'll just slow you down. You go, mate. Mine takes 29 years, but bah, we are sentient planets. We can do whatever we want, like, for example, leave our orbit- Shut your cake hole, mate! The sun may hear you! I doubt he'll notice. Besides, what's the worst he can do? Fire a solar flare at us? You know I'm an ice giant. Right? Come on, it'll be fun! We never spend any time together. You... want to spend time with me? Of course! Oh! Um, uh, cool! Yeah, let's adventure uh, uh, away! <laughs> and stuff. Don't leave your orbit! What? Okay, oh, run, 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 run! No, 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 no! What's your right? Nothing! Mind your business, Neptune! Hey! I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh! Ew! Hey! Oh, is that how you smell? Keep your voice down! Uh, you're probably the smelliest hey. planet in the Milky Way. This has to be a Neptune, record. Neptune, shut up! Please! Hey, don't be ashamed. Being the best at something is kind of cool. I don't want to be the best at smelling bad! Why not? Because my name is Uranus! At least that's how everyone says it, so... I mean, you can see how they'd make fun of me. Well, there's nothing funny about Uranus. Neptune, just... Forget about all this, okay? I do forget most things, so I probably will. But at least tell me why you stink, please? Okay, well, my atmosphere is made of hydrogen sulfide. Gotcha, gotcha. What's that? 
It's one of the smelliest chemicals, like in the universe. Oh. oh, good thing no one besides me is around to smell you then, huh? Yes, yes, not a word, okay? Okie dokie, neighborino. I won't tell anyone. Tell us what? That Uranus stinks. Hey, you're right, it is kind of funny. Uranus, I'm back. Neptune? Oh, wow, you're back. I almost thought you got flung out of the solar system. Oh, you know how it is, cousin. What? I don't know how it... Wait, did you just call me cousin? Yeah, we are cousins. The only ice giants in the solar system. What, that doesn't mean we're cousins. We're nothing alike. Come on, look at us. We're almost the same size and made of the same stuff. We're even pretty much the same temperature. Well, we don't look the same. You're blue and I'm uh, lighter blue. You're not lighter, just less saturated, because I have way less ice and stuff floating around to dull me down. My atmosphere is always super active, just like my mind. Okay, you have some good points. But then, why are you so... Why am I so... You know what, forget about it. I guess, when we're alone, you can call me cousin, or whatever. But anyways, I'm... I'm glad you're back, Neptune. Oh. Hi. We hope you enjoyed the video. Special thanks to Babbel for sponsoring us. Get 60% off your subscription by using our code and master any languages in no time. Thanks.